church. How are you doing today? Uh, my name's Rebecca and I'm from our Manchester campus. I um, hope you are doing well. I've had my morning coffee. I'm good to go. I've got my bottle of water as well. Keep myself hydrated. So I am ready. I hope you guys are as well um, at whatever point in the day you are watching these. Uh, how good have these uh, video devotions been? Just hearing different people's take on uh, scriptures that they've just, you know, held dearly to them uh, and, have, you know, just kept kept hold of in situations. I hope that they've been useful to you and you've been able to um, gather some new scriptures to keep in your arsenal for whenever you need them. Um, but today uh, I'm going to be sharing from uh, a scripture that has kind of been one of my go-tos for so many years um, and something that I'll return to time and time again. You know, it's been written in my journals, it's been written on my mirroring lipstick um, and it's been repeated like a mantra of truth. Um, I just really, really love it. Um, so this, today's scripture is Romans 12.12 12, um, and I'm going to read from the Good News Bible version. I just love that that version of this uh, and it says let your hope keep you joyful be patient in your troubles and pray at all times uh, short and sweet one today I'm just gonna say that again uh, let your hope keep you joyful be patient in your troubles and pray at all times um, so throughout Paul's letters, uh, which is obviously where this comes from in Romans, he continues to describe um, like kind of a series of short, re like related short commands. Um, and the three commands in this verse are really key um, to our emotional and spiritual well-being as Christians. Um, so the first command is to rejoice in hope. Uh, and here Paul is encouraging us to declare our reasons to be joyful. Uh, it's not a command to be happy. It's not like just be happy no matter what, but it's to have the right perspective on our situation. So even if we might be in a you know a tough situation uh, or just a bit having a bit of a like a bit of a blah day, um, we just need to you know the command is to rejoice in hope. So declare our reasons to be joyful. Things like that we have breath in our lungs. We have food on our table we have clothes to wear um, you know personally I have a job to go to I have a car that I can drive and and these these things that remind us um, to the reasons to be joyful and the reasons that you know is to so key so it kind of just brings us back to a bit of a reality check of yeah that situation is bad but just think about all these other things all these other reasons to be joyful you know there's those um physical and material things and the other one is that we have a god who loves us and a god who's you know always looking out for us and always thinking about us it's just you know definitely a command that we need to keep hold of uh, as we go through our day-to-day -day lives um the next command is to be patient in your troubles now, this is a tough one um but it becomes much easier if we are keeping the other two commands so those who see that their future is worth celebrating and who pray to the Father continually will have a much easier time of being patient during hardship. So if we can, you know, remember the the times to be joyful and we can pray, then in our troubles we know that being patient is the best thing to do. Um you know, Paul is not downplaying any genuine pain of, you know, any experience, especially experience he's gone through. But he's pointed out that the struggles of life on earth are not worth comparing with the glory to come. Um, so being able to be in that moment and know that the troubles, you know, you just have to, they're just, you know, they're there, we just got to be patient. You know, God said that trouble will come. He never said life was going to be easy. But we just need to be patient in those troubles, but also do the other two commands of being, you know, joyful and knowing what's to come and praying at all times. And then finally, the command uh, in the verse is to be constant, con consistent, constant, consistent in prayer. Uh, or to pray at all times, that's easier. During kind of any time of, you know, suffering, I think is definitely the easiest time to pray, but also just at any time. You know, when you've driven to work and you've got all the green lights, like pray and thank God. 
Um, as well as in those times of despair and you need to call out his name, we should pray. You know, prayer brings a connection with our Father through the Holy Spirit. Um, and he hears us, he understands us, and he helps us in our, in, you know, in our, in response, even to the clumsiest attempts to communicate with him. I know sometimes my prayers, they can be short, they can be mumbled, they can literally just be shouting Jesus' name. But even in those clumsiest attempts to communicate with him, he listens and he understands. And that's something that is just truly beautiful to remember. But church, if you remember anything from this devotion, it is these three commands. Let hope keep you joyful, be patient in your troubles, and pray at all times. I hope this has helped you today, church. Just a reminder of, you know, God's love and, and, and what we're here to do in this earth. We're here to have an amazing life. You know, God wants the best for us. We're, we're there to show his glory. Um, and yeah, just hope you have a really, really great day and I will definitely see you soon. Bye.